Welcome to the forest. I'm taking a very short break from looking for chestnuts. I'm only a few steps from the Miracle Sisters chestnut tree here checking on the grandmother chestnut tree. And in case you haven't seen my prior videos about the chestnuts, the grandmother succumbed to the blight last year. And there's so much to tell. Look at the, I don't even know which one it was. There will be several videos. Just look through the playlist and you'll be able to find stuff from several years going all the way back to last year. Anyways, I cut her down when she succumbed. And as you can see, there are so many suckers here including, this is not a sucker here, this is a root sprout that she sent up and it is doing so well. Oh my goodness, it's beautiful. It's hard to believe it's only one year old and it's here in the forest. And so it's growing very vigorously, but just look at the suckers. I have been sort of remiss in my duties for the last few months in pruning them but when I initially did the cut and she sent up the suckers I went through with a fine tooth comb and I got rid of any of them that had the blight which was about I would say half and now I've checked on her and I can't find any blight in any of the suckers that I left. It's just unbelievable. It really is. Because remember, she succumbed to the blight. And she sent up all of these suckers. And as I said, I got rid of the ones that had the blight. <clears throat> and I've done this before with other trees. but it's never been like this. And this, I think it goes with her story. She fought that blight for over a decade. That's really unusual. Once they get the blight, they usually don't <laughs> take that long. And so I guess it makes sense that these suckers that she sent up and this one is just it is so big <laughs> it is so big and so i think this is what i'm going to do now is i think i'm going to get rid of all the other ones and just leave this one because it's branching out so beautifully it's so big and when I look all the way to the top, look at the top. It's just perfect. Look, there's, here's a beautiful new leaf. It's a, this one's a little tattered by bugs, but so is this one. But the newest leaf here, it's so bright green. Can you see that beautiful color? That's the color of new growth. This is a new leaf. And there's beautiful buds here and one is breaking right at the tip, so another leaf is about to form. This is just incredible. It's, it's October. And to see this growth, this has just been such a season. Anyways, I wanted to show you this. I came here to do more pruning but I was expecting to be getting rid of ones that had the blight. And I can't find any. There's just no blight to be found. None of these have any blight. And some of them have even been damaged from falling debris. We're standing underneath a couple of giant trees here and they sometimes drop dead branches and whatnot and it'll hit the tree. And so when a, an American chestnut, well, any chestnut, really, but we're talking about American chestnut here. Whenever there's any kind of damage to the skin, 
that's an entry point for the blight because the blight is airborne. And here's some serious damage to this one here, and there's no blight. Wow. So it's going to be interesting to see what happens here. I'm really looking forward to the years to come to see what happens with the grandmother. She's still going strong in her new rebirth. So I guess I'm going to cut away. Maybe I'll leave a couple just to be safe. Okay, so I've finished, I think, all I'm going to be cutting. But I wanted to show you something really interesting. I decided that I was going to save these three. They're all rather beautiful. <laughs> it was a very difficult choice. This one here is very interesting because I can't find any sign of the blight on it and it's actually a sucker growing from a sucker. It's one that I had cut previously because it had the blight. And it sent out this new leader just an inch below where I cut it. And this new growth, it's huge. It's actually the tallest of them all. And let me bend down the top of it. It's got beautiful growth right to the tip. The terminal bud looks great. And nowhere on it is there any blight. None. Even though it's at least 10 feet tall now. There's just no blight. It's perfect. Even though it's a sucker that was infested with the blight. Which is why I cut it. Last year. So I was going to cut this for two reasons. First of all, because it's growing in this direction where it's going to be shading, competing for sunlight with this beautiful root sprout from her. This has the highest priority of everything. Nothing here matters as much as this. But I wanted this to just be an experiment to see what happens with her suckers. I didn't expect to have this kind of success. This is astonishing. So I was going to cut this anyways because it's competing with the root sprout. And then once I cleared all of this away, that's when I saw that this is a sucker from the sucker that I had eliminated because of the blight on it. Wow. She has so much power. She has so much resistance to the blight. It's like she's supercharging these suckers. And it's really interesting because this very large long dead sucker that was a couple of inches across died from the blight long ago. And this is another failed one here that was leaning over and I just snapped it 
this, look at it, it's, it's long, long gone. And so she's been making suckers that died from the blight for years, many, many years. And it seems that, I don't know, we'll just have to wait and see what happens, but this is a very encouraging sign. I'm just amazed. I'm amazed at this. This is really beautiful. So for now, at least, I'm going to leave this one. Because we still have years before there's any kind of conflict, real conflict. And if this continues to be healthy, especially if it's the only one of these that turns out to be able to grow and grow and grow years from now without any blight, then I'll just have to prune it. For example, this branch right here that's leaning in that direction. So I could just, plus perhaps what I can do right now is just encourage this to grow in this direction. Tie it, stake it, etc. But for now, we'll just leave it like this. So, wow. This is really exciting news. I'm, I'm thrilled by this. I'm really excited. Beautiful things just keep happening. Letting nature take its course and providing a very soft touch, a gentle helping hand, which in my case here was with a chainsaw. <laughs> But there's something to be said for this, and this goes along with recent videos that I made about the persimmons and doing this, and the chestnut that was crushed by the falling maple. Doing this extreme cutting to give the signal to the tree that it's time to get serious about the suckers or the root sprouts. And that, there you go, that may be the difference between the failure with these earlier ones. This is interesting. This is very interesting because I just realized that this one is doing the same thing. This is a branch. This made a fork. This part I cut last year because it had the blight because I can still see the brown on it. It's decaying now. But as I moved it, I realized, look at this. This one is connected to it as well. It made a branch right at the bottom there. So this is another one. These, both of these are actually offshoots from aborted ones that I had cut because of the blight. And the the new offshoots in both cases, again, again, there's absolutely no blight on this. None. Zero. It's just perfect. Oh, wow. 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 Well, there you go. To be updated next year. Time for me to go to the Miracle Sisters tree because I just heard something fall. Maybe it was a chestnut.